Hi, I'm Becky Stern. Welcome to the craft video. Today I'm going to show you how to make and use a pinhole camera. It's a camera that you can make out of any container you have laying around the house and then you can de actually develop your own photos at home. It's a really great project to do with your kids over the summer. It's uh, not too expensive to get set up. You can make your own camera, which is really fun, and uh, teaches your kid about going outside and being creative with their camera and also a little bit of chemistry uh, when you're developing the photos. So all you need are some kind of uh, container. I have here um, some kind of breakfast cereal container is good, um, a, a small flat cardboard box, you can use a mint tin, and I have uh, this tea tin that I'm going to make today. And um, all you have to do is uh, get some matte black spray paint and spray paint the inside of your camera black. That's so that any light that bounces off of the photographic paper we're going to use doesn't um, cause any strange effects. You can actually get some interesting effects because of the round container of this one. You'll get interesting distortion. It's fun to play with. So all you need to do is uh, drill a hole in your container or cut a hole with a utility knife. And then take a piece of foil. Uh, you can use aluminum foil. You can use a tin can. You can also use brass shim stock. And you just poke a tiny little hole in it with a small sewing needle. And you don't even need to go all the way through the material. Just, just uh, go part way up the, where the very point of the needle is. And you use a soft surface, like a notebook or a pad of paper. And then just prick it really slightly. If you're using an aluminum can or brass, you should sand it, but aluminum foil you can't really sand, so there it is. Uh, hold it up to a light to make sure it has a nice clean hole in it, and then uh, you just need to go through the process of protecting your camera from any light leaks. So we'll use this black electrical tape to attach the pinhole to the uh, bigger hole you made in the container. You just cut a hole in the tape and put it over your foil and then tape it to your container right over the hole. Now I'm going to um, put the lid on and seal up any place where any light might get in around the edge, but uh, that'll be after I put my photographic paper inside the camera and uh, you need to do that in a dark room. Let's talk a little bit about dark rooms. You can use your bathroom and I'm using the back room of my studio. I put a pillow up against the window and then sealed it with this black paper and I also have a blanket over the doorway to block off anywhere where light's coming in. And then I'm going to use uh, this thing called a safe light. It's an amber light bulb I got at a photographic supply store. I actually ordered mine online. And um, that'll be light that's safe for your photographic paper. So you can take it out of its container and cut it to size and put it in your camera. We'll also do our developing in here. I have my uh, developer chemical, my um, stop bath, my fixer, and uh, a bucket of clean water for rinse. All right, I've loaded up all my cameras, all four of them. And uh, I put the photographic paper inside in the dark room and then wrapped all of the edges with electrical tape to light proof the camera, including the pinhole which I covered with a little flap of electrical tape that I'll use as the shutter to pull off and then I'll leave it open for anywhere from four seconds to three minutes depending on how bright it is. That's the fun part. You get to play around. And then uh, I'll stick that tape back on, bring it back into the developing room and uh, we'll see what we get. This process is about trial and error, so it can be helpful to keep a log of what camera you were using, what the subject of your photo is, uh, how long you left the pinhole open, and the lighting conditions under which you took the picture. Uh, if your picture comes out too dark, that means you overexposed, um, because this is a negative, remember, and you need to leave your pinhole open for a shorter amount of time, and if it comes out too light, that means you underexposed, and you need to leave the uh, pinhole open longer next time. So I got these two exposures from the same camera, the T10 one I showed you how to make. And um, one of them was taken with the film paper straight up and down, and the other one, uh, the film paper was slanted. So I got a kind of distorted image, which is pretty cool. 
you can make a positive from these images by in the dark room putting a, another piece of photo paper down and put this down face down and um, sandwich them together then turn the regular light on for a very brief moment and then uh, that'll expose your negative and you can develop it just like a photo um, but I'm just going to scan them into some photo editing software and use the invert tool to change it to a positive image. So that's all for the craft video. I hope you'll join me next time.